Welcome back, beautiful people, to another episode of Comfort Foods Kitchen. And today we're going to be making a West African dish from Nigeria. It's called Efariro, or vegetable soup. And our ingredients are palm oil, cow feet, fish, this is smoked, tripe, shrimp, crayfish. And we're going to be using a onion, small chopped onion, a large bell pepper, a small onion, a habanero, this is a large habanero, salt, chicken bouillon, and the star of the dish, spinach. So, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is blend a habanero, our onion, and our bell pepper. Well, what we're going to do, if I've already done it, put enough palm oil in the bottom of your pan just to coat the bottom of your pan. Now, once it's hot, and this is hot, we're going to put in our chopped onion. This dish is so easy, quick. So, we're going to incorporate this. We're going to turn it on medium heat. And we're going to let this cook for about two minutes. Okay, so it's been two minutes. Now let me add my pepper mixture. And we're going to put a little bit of water. Just enough to get the rest of this pepper mixture out of here. Alright, then we're going to stir this, make sure it's all incorporated, and we're going to put it on low, medium heat. I'm going to cover it for about 10 minutes. I'll be right back with you. Welcome back, beautiful people. Alright, it's been 10 minutes. After my 5 minute mark, I looked at my stew here. And it was drying out some, so I added a little bit more water to it. You don't want this to burn. Now what we're going to do is add our meats. Put in the, all the meats at the same time. Putting in my shrimp. You see how this is right here? You're going to need a little bit more water. Loosen this up a little bit. About maybe a half a cup of water. Then, we're going to put in our chicken bouillon and our salt. And a tablespoon of crayfish. It's not a whole lot of these African dishes from that region that they don't use crayfish. They use crayfish in just about everything. So it makes that special flavor, that special taste. All right, we're going to stir this around a little bit. Like I said, this meat is already pre-cooked. And we're going to let it simmer for about 10 more minutes and I'll be right back with you welcome back beautiful people it's time to now put in our spinach the spinach has already been chopped up because mine's had some stems on it so I chopped it up some more and we're going to mix all of this together. The spinach already has a lot of water. It holds a lot of water in it, you know. Um, you can use any type of greens, but this is a fast cooking green. So that's why I like to use it. And it is full of iron and vitamins. 
So now we're going to do, after we mix this all up, we're going to let this on low heat cook for about two more minutes and then everything will be ready. So don't forget to, um, to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up like, and push that notification button. And if you're looking for me um, on Facebook or YouTube, you can find me at Comfort Foods, that's one word, Comfort Foods, then Kitchen, and my face will pop up. Welcome back, beautiful people. Guess what? Everything is done. This is what the finished dish looks like. So we're going to take some of this out, put it into our bowl, and a lot of times this is eaten with rice. Wow. Doesn't it look good? They call it spinach uh, vegetable soup, but it's not really that um, soupy. This is good. All right. Take this off this fire. Welcome back. It's ready. For the favorite part of this um, episode is the taste. So we're going to taste this and see what's popping. This dish is normally eaten with rice. Or you can eat it just like it is. Mm. It's very spicy. I love spicy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up like. Hit that notification button. And I'll be right back with you with another fabulous recipe.